A Saudi man was accused of the very serious crime of fucking a vacuum cleaner. Not kidding. This is a real story. So Riyadh Daily reports here. The man was caught in full action by his wife of 17 years before she reported her husband to the authorities. Uh, legal experts say, and I quote, Due to the peculiar nature of this case of adultery, in which the accused performs sex with a home appliance and not with an animal or a human being, the judge has decided to give him a lighter sentence than usual for this crime. Two years in prison and a thousand lashes is more than acceptable. Okay, I'm going to get back to that in a second, but let me just give you one more here. This is uh, when the police weighed in. They said, we were unable to identify if the suspect performed any sexual act with his vacuum cleaner. Okay, where would the evidence be? Are you literally looking for a cum shot inside of a vacuum? Mm, what a sad job that must be. Now, to get to the meat of the story here. <laughs> Perhaps the wrong term to use right now. Meat. Um, two years in prison and a thousand lashes for fucking a vacuum cleaner or perhaps masturbation with a vacuum cleaner. Again, we don't even know if it's true. It could just be that the wife made it up. There's no evidence of it. It wouldn't stand up in a court that actually gives a shit about evidence. She could have just made it up because she's mad. She doesn't like him. Whatever. Could be anything. Two years in prison and a thousand lashes as a result of this. No, guys, you need to understand something. Saudi Arabia is like if Pat Robertson did bath salts and he was in a particularly violent mood and he was a dictator. He was a fascist dictator who took over a country and he could implement his crazy ideas. Pat Robertson on bath salts running a country exists right now. It's in Saudi Arabia, the Salafi terror state. A guy who maybe, maybe not was caught with his dick in a vacuum Two years and a thousand lashes. You can imagine Pat Robertson giving out that sentence, right? What was he doing? Oh, he had his pee-pee in a vacuum cleaner. Two years and a thousand lashes. Oh, praise be to God. We'd, we'd laugh at that fucker here, right? But there, it exists. The people are living under constant terror and oppression. No, that's not okay. Guys, fundamentalists are... They're flat out anti-fun and anti-freedom and liberty. You know what I file this under here in America? Hashtag freedom, bitch. Step aside. If I want to shove my dick in a vacuum, I'm going to shove my dick in a vacuum. I mean, it, they're against this. I mean, are they against masturbation? I would assume so. We had the guy in Utah the other day saying a war on porn. I'm going to wage a war on porn. I want to classify it as a public health hazard. That's what he wants to do. The, 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 here, they're actually doing it. They're locking you up if your dick is in a vacuum. No, you can't have that. You can't have that. And by the way, deep down, pe even people there who say, I believe in this ideology. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a deeply religious person. Come on, you know all of them have jerked off. You know all of them have looked at porn. You know all of them have done something at one time or another. Drugs, alcohol, whatever. Where... It doesn't really fit with, with the oh-so-holy and awesome laws, which are really stupid and not holy at all. So you're all hypocrites. This is why, for example, Utah, one of the most conservative states in the U.S., has the highest rate of watching porn. This is why Pakistan, I think it was, one of the most anti-gay countries on the planet, watches the most gay porn. Here they're like, we're so virtuous. We're so virtuous that you can't even shove your dick in a vacuum cleaner. We're going to lock you up. And then what's going on behind the scenes? They're... Endless stories of the decadence and the endless uh, lust and uh, sexual fantasies that have been carried out by the Saudi royalty. You violate the same ridiculous laws that you use to oppress your people all the fucking time. The ideology is bullshit, and they even admit in the article. Yeah, I mean, obviously Muhammad said nothing about fucking a vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaners didn't even exist. But we're against it anyway because religion and because these are the laws we want to come up with. Fuck that, man. Look, you're a religious person. If you want to abide by a certain code on your own, fine. But should you be able to lock other people up for shit like this? Oh, get the fuck out of here. You're the bad guy. You're the problem. You're the authoritarian. You're the theocrat. You're the fascist here. It's not them. Poor guy's just trying to get a nut.